Hi, thank you for clicking on the video and I hope everyone is doing really well. In my opinion, I think there is a 50-50 chance of a person with an eating disorder developing an addiction to laxatives or in some way misusing or overusing laxatives, diuretics, weight loss, or water pills. I don't think it's anyone's first thought or plan of action to use laxatives when they have an eating disorder. I know for me it wasn't. I of course knew of laxatives, but I didn't realize that they were something that could become an addiction. I didn't realize that they were something that could be misused or abused. And I didn't realize that the overuse and the abuse of laxatives was a characteristic of having an eating disorder. I think laxatives are a very taboo subtopic of an already taboo topic. Laxatives are often overlooked when discussing eating disorders. People either don't realize the connection between laxative abuse and eating disorders, or they don't realize that laxatives are a substance that can be misused, abused, and become an addiction. When you hear the word addiction or the word addicted, you think of painkillers, alcohol, hard drugs. You don't really think of laxatives as a substance that a person could become addicted to. And yet more and more of the people who are falling into the trap of an eating disorder are developing a dependency and an addiction to laxatives. Any addiction should be taken seriously. No addiction is worse than another. Any time a person feels indebted to a substance, and that means any substance, this is cause for alarm, and that is evidence that that person needs help. I think a lot of people who overuse laxatives are not ready to admit that they have a substance problem. And I think that for a lot of them, they're not even aware that they have a substance problem, probably because it's not an illegal drug, it's not alcohol, and it's not any of the other substances that we typically hear people are addicted to. For a lot of people, they just don't categorize laxatives as a plausible addiction. You don't hear about laxative addiction that often. You certainly don't hear about it as much as you hear about the effects and the deaths of other addictions. I remember thinking to myself, there is absolutely no way that I am addicted to laxatives why? Because you can't get addicted to laxatives. I was so convinced you could not. You physically could not be addicted to these pills. It seemed to me like such a silly idea, the idea of laxative addiction. And yet my actions were those of an addict. I believed laxative use was pathetic, and I was ashamed of the fact that I was even taking them in the first place. But then to have to admit that I was addicted to them just made me feel even more pathetic and stupid. It took me years to come to the realization that I have a problem. One of the things that made me realize that I not only have a problem, I am addicted to these pills, is the fact that I felt that I had to hide it. I didn't want people to know what I was doing, but I had to ask myself, why? Why didn't I want people knowing? What was so wrong about people knowing? It's those kind of questions that separate healthy behavior from addictive behavior. Just like I had always thought I could never develop an eating disorder, I thought the same thing about laxative addiction. I thought I would never not only would I ever take laxatives, I believed I would never become addicted to it because I didn't believe that you could be addicted to them. Early in my senior year of high school, I was prescribed a mild laxative for an intestinal digestive issue that I was having. I was only supposed to take them for 30 days, one dose a day, but one month turned into two and two months turned into three and so on. And one dose a day turned into two doses a day two doses a day turned into three doses a day, and gradually the doses started to increase in volume. I found that I could overdo it with this mild laxative and still achieve the feeling of emptiness that I was craving because of how little I was eating. It was around the time that doctors told me that I needed to start gaining weight that I turned to stronger laxatives. They told me I needed to eat and the idea of eating terrified me. But instead of reaching out and finding someone to talk to about my fears, I traded one vice for another. Yes, I was eating again, 
but I compensated by taking an outrageous amount of laxatives. The more I ate, the more I found I couldn't stop eating. And to ease the feelings of guilt and shame, I would overdose on laxatives and eventually water pills. I remember the first time I took laxatives. I half expected them to work right away, but they didn't. They take about six to 12 hours to actually work. I had gotten out of control one evening binging on everything in sight as I often did at that time. I ate for hours into that night. By the time I had realized what I had done, I had entered a state of complete panic. All I wanted was to feel empty. I was so frantic that I remembered that EpiCac is something that people would give sick people to basically make them throw up. And I remember just rummaging through my mom's like bathroom cupboards and the medicine cabinet because I had kind of remembered that I thought she said that she had EpiCac. And EpiCac tastes disgusting, but that is how desperate I was. I was willing to drink that vileness just to make myself throw up, to get everything out of me. That is how badly I wanted to feel empty. I went searching and instead of finding Epicac, I found a box of laxatives. I didn't even think about it. I mean, it was just less than a split second and I took the rest of the box. It was a half empty box and I just took the rest. I think there was like 10 or 12 left and I took them all. Unfortunately, the next day was my sister's college graduation. And, and I feel so guilty because that was the most, one of the most important days in my sister's life. And I feel like I ruined it because she wanted me to be a part of it, and I couldn't be a part of it. We, we drove. We drove to her campus, which was about an hour away from where we lived. And I remember on the car ride there, I started getting cramps. And I hadn't had my period for a really long time. And because I had started eating again, I thought maybe my period was trying to start. And so I made the mistake of taking uh, painkillers and muscle relaxants because I thought they were period cramps. But they weren't. When we got to the campus and the ceremony started, I'm, I swear the second the ceremony started, that is when the laxatives kicked in. And because I had taken the painkillers and the muscle relaxants, I couldn't, I couldn't hold it. And so I spent the whole ceremony going back and forth from the bathroom and I missed the whole thing. I was nauseous because I was dehydrated and I was fatigued from not sleeping much. I missed the whole ceremony and afterwards everyone wanted to get pictures but I just couldn't and so I just went back to the car and I curled up under a blanket and just cried and held myself because I was just in so much pain. My whole body was shaking and I was sweating uncontrollably and I remember thinking that I was seriously dying. There were so many things, important things that I missed that day. This was one of the most important days in my sister's life and I couldn't be a part of it because I was selfish and I was wrapped up in my own head. I, I re rarely, I rarely have regrets in my life, but I, and I know I've made a lot of mistakes, but that's, that's the one thing that if I could go back and do it differently, I would, I would be there for her. I would do it so differently. That's what addictions do. 
they take the attention away from other people, and they make you believe that everything's about you. The addictions make you self-centered, and they make you incapable of being there for others. After such an emotional and painful first experience, you would think that I would never take them again, but no. I continued to take laxatives for the next four years. Every night, I would take hundreds, hundreds of laxatives. There was a three-month span of time when I would get maybe an hour of sleep every night because I would be awake with cramps and then I would have to run back and forth from the bathroom every 15 minutes. Not sleeping really messed with my ability to think straight and to make logical decisions. It also affected my ability to function as a normal human being. I felt like a robot just going through the motions, doing what I had to do to convince people and myself that I was fine and that I was normal. I had a lot of breakdowns during that time. I also ruined a lot of relationships at that time because of this. There were a few months here and there that I tried to stop but I just traded taking laxatives for purging. And every time I wanted to give up purging, I would just turn back to laxatives. I would buy $20 worth of laxatives from the dollar store every week, and that would last me a couple of days. It got to the point that I was at the store so often that one of the cashiers started to recognize me. And one time she stopped me and legitimately asked me if I was okay. And I lied and said I was fine. But that just shows how serious it all was if complete strangers were concerned. Eventually I met a group of people who quickly became my friends. We went out practically every night, which cut into my binging time, which kept me from taking laxatives. We didn't always make the best decisions, but I see them as a true blessing because they helped me without even knowing it wean off laxatives. Naturally, I started binging and purging on the nights that I didn't hang out with them, but this is about the laxative side of my life. Eventually, it got to the point where I was able to cut down the amount I was taking from hundreds, hundreds, to five a day. Gradually, that five a day turned to three, and then eventually two, and then I suddenly found myself taking them every other day, and then suddenly it was maybe once a week, and then I found I wasn't taking them anymore. I had them, I just didn't take them. And I knew I didn't want to take them anymore. I started watching videos and reading about the damage laxative abuse can cause, and I was scared straight. The last time I took laxatives was July 2015. And at that point, I was probably about two or three months clean. I had one pill left. I'm the type of person that I don't like to waste money or anything for that matter. I was extremely upset with myself for binging and I just didn't have the energy that day to purge, so I took the pill. Now, first of all, when you take laxatives for a long period of time, eventually your body will become accustomed to it. So when I first stopped taking laxatives, my body had to remember how to poop on its own. That process is long and painful. I went weeks without pooping when I first stopped taking laxatives for good. But eventually your body relearns to do its job. But when I took that single pill, because I hadn't been taking them for so long, it was like my first time taking laxatives. My body was no longer used to the stimulants and chemicals. Even I had forgotten to an extent what it felt like. So that single pill had quite the impact. It was not fun. I had to go to work the next morning in that state, and everyone was very concerned with the amount of trips to the bathroom I was taking. It was probably on my eighth trip to the bathroom that day and I was sitting there and I thought to myself this is it that is 
this is the last laxative pill I am ever going to take. Since then, I have not bought a box. However, like any addict, I still have cravings, which is horrifying and embarrassing to admit. But yes, I crave laxatives. It gets so bad sometimes that I'm genuinely scared to go to a store because they sell laxatives there. It's just knowing that they are available scares me because I'm afraid I will lose control and just buy them. There have been times where I will go down that aisle just to look at them, just to hold the box in my hand. I've never given in and bought them, but it's scary to hold it because you want to be close to it because you want it that badly. But every time I have put them back, there are days when I feel like I have eaten way too much and I am just so uncomfortable. And the thoughts of I don't want to get fat and laxatives could fix this. Those thoughts are terrifying. But I have to fight those thoughts. I have to sit through the pain of being uncomfortable and I have to let it pass. Now what really brought on this topic is what happened to me last week. Out of desperation, I drank laxative tea. I had been overly bloated and constipated for eight or nine days and it was just not going away. I had not gone to the bathroom, pooped, in eight or nine days, I cannot remember the exact number. And after experiencing the effects of that tea, I've come to the conclusion that I have absolutely no desire to abuse this laxative in any way. And preferably, I would hope to never have to drink this tea again. Now we have a whole box of laxative tea which is being kept safely on my tea shelf, hidden in the back, and it is for emergencies only. I do not consider this a relapse because I understand the consequences, and I have no desire to relive the time in my life when I was addicted to laxatives. I have grown up since then, and I have learned how to be responsible. I have loving and supportive people in my life who are not afraid to tell me when they think something is a bad idea. I think the biggest sign of growth was when the effects of the tea kicked in about an hour before my alarm was set to go off, and I thought to myself, well, this sucks. Now I have to sit in the bathroom for the next, like, 40 minutes when I could be sleeping, and I hate losing sleep. It shows me that I value my time without laxatives. The best feeling was knowing that I genuinely do not want to take these ever, ever again. The thing about laxatives is they do serve a purpose. They can be a helpful tool for body function. I view them as a absolute last resort. I don't encourage people to take them. I don't think that should be the first thing people turn to when they're having discomfort or digestive issues or anything like that. I think they should be the absolute last resort. And the thing about laxative addiction though is I think that you can overcome it and you can eventually be able to take them when needed without being without becoming dependent upon them and becoming addicted again. I think you have to be very careful and you have to be completely honest with yourself. If you feel like you are the type of person that has an addictive personality, an addictive being, and that it's just too much of a risk, then don't ever try the things that you are addicted to. I think laxative addiction is a little bit separate from other addiction because they're not developed to harm you. Like, there's something good about them. I think that when you start to recognize that they are meant as a helpful tool and not something for, like, self-gratification, like, people use laxatives to feel empty, to, they're trying to achieve a feeling. I think that when you can start to separate like that from its purpose, that's when, you know, recovery is working. And maybe one day 
down the line, you're super <laughs> constipated and you take a laxative because you just can't take it anymore. And if you can face yourself in the mirror and be like, I never, I don't want to take that. I have no desire to abuse them. I don't have a desire to overdose on them, overdo it. That shows growth. And that is what I'm talking about. I, why I don't think what I did was relapse. First off, I apologize for my tears and how emotional I was and for my rambling. But thank you so much for sitting through this for clicking on the video in the first place. I really appreciate it. If you did enjoy it, if you did learn something, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye.